Hello everyone, so now we are going to learn how we can configure the DHCP server on Cisco router. So we are going to take one Cisco router, in that one we are going to configure the DHCP. Okay, so I will take this router 2811. Imagine this is your DHCP server. Okay, how we can make this router as a DHCP server? I will write DHCP, DHCP server. Okay. This is a DHCP server. Now I will take two switch. We will connect one switch this side. We will connect this switch. We have two switches here. And I will take some client here. I will take one, two, three. Here also one, two, three. So we are taking a small scenario. Okay, we are taking a small scenario here. We are going to configure the DHCP server in the router. So let's do how we can configure the DHCP server in the Cisco router by using packet tracer in the packet tracer. So this site I will use 192.168.1.1 and this site I am going to use 192.168.2.1. Okay, so this interface I am going to use this IP and this interface I am going to use this IP. After that we are going to configure the DHCP server here okay so this is our topology let me do the configuration i will go to the cli of the router now we are going to configure the dscp okay i will move this here and let's start the configuration so first i will write here no and then we will do enable to go in the enable mode then config t to go in the global configuration mode and then i will change the name I will give the name as a DSCP server. Okay, I give DSCP server as a name of this router. After that, I will assign the IP to the particular interface. If you see, we have the fast Ethernet 0 by 0. I will go to fast Ethernet 0 by 0. I will write IP address 192.168.1.1 and 255.255.255.0. Then we will write no shirt. Why I am writing 255 three times? Because we are using the class C. This is a class C IP. If you are having confusion, watch our IP address class. In that one we mentioned. Okay, so this is the IP, class C IP. In the class C IP, we will write three times 255. This is known as subnet mask. So just I assign the IP address to this interface. Okay, now what I will do? I will go to another interface. That is an interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1. I will write here IP address 192.168.2.1 then 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt. So this way we assign the IP address to two interface. If you want to check we can write do show IP IP interface brief. If you see here we have the two IP address here. Okay so we have the two IP address here. Now we can do the DSCP configuration. So I, I will configure to a DSCP configuration here. Okay, because I have this interface, I have this interface. So I will take this as a gateway 192.168.1.1. I will configure one pool for this and I have 192.168.2.1. So I will create one more pool for this one. Okay, so two time I will configure the DSCP server. Let's see. Okay. So first of all, whenever you want to do the DSCP server configuration, if you want to exclude some IP, if you don't want your DSCP server to give that IP, then we need to exclude that one. So here we are going to use this 192.168.1.1 as a gateway, the IP which we assign to the router. If you see here also, for this interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1, we assign the IP 192.168.2.1. So this two IP we need to exclude. This two IP our DSCP server should not give. Okay. So what I need to do, I need to put these two IP in the exclude command. So they should not give that one. Okay. So how we can do that one? Let's do that. Okay. Now what we are doing, we are configuring the DSCP DHCP server. DHCP server. So what I will do here, I will write here IP DHCP 
and give a space and write exclude address whatever address you want to exclude you can write here i will write 192.168.1.1 .1. i need to exclude this ip okay and then i need to exclude one more ip i will write this one also so this two ip is going to exclude so dhcp server dhcp server is not going to give this ip dhcp server is not going to give this two ip okay now we can create the pool so what i will do i will write ip dhcp pool okay pool name you can give anything i will give here i can give like uh, let me give the gateway ip 192.168.1.1 okay this is the pool name i give this is a pool name okay and after that we will do the configuration i will write network and whatever the network id 192.168.1.0 then give a space write 255.255.255. sorry 255.0 okay this way i told start giving the ip with this network 192.168.1.1 they will not give because we exclude that one so they will start giving the ip from 1.2 and we need to define the gateway also so what we will do we will write default default router give the gateway ip here what is the gateway ip gateway ip is 1.1 and press enter okay if you want to give the DNS, then you can write DNS server and give the IP. Example, I want to give 8.8.8 .8 .8 as a DNS. Then I will ex exit. Now I need to create another pool. So I will write IP DHCP pool. I will give the other name. I will give this IP. Okay. I am creating the pool with this IP. Just I am writing. This is like a name. I can give ABC XYZ. But here this side I am using this gateway, this side I am using this gateway, that's why I am giving this pool name as a IP, gateway of the IP. Okay, so I go under the DHCP configuration, I go under the DHCP configuration. Now I need to define here, so I will write here network, network should be 192.168.2.0, give space 255.255.255.0. And what we will do, we will write default router and we will give the default route. That is a gateway. So gateway should be 192.168.2.1. And if you want to define the DNS, we will give the DNS as 8.8.8.8. .8 so this is a DS DHCP configuration in the router. This way we can configure the DHCP server in the Cisco router. Now what we can do, we can go to this machine and check our machine is getting the IP address or not. So I will go here. Let me show you how we can go. Click this IP, click the desktop, click the IP configuration, then click the DHCP and you will wait. You will get the IP 192.168.1.2. And if you see, this is a subnet mask, whatever we configure in the router, we are getting that one. And if you see, this is a 192.168.1.1 is a gateway. That is a router IP. We keep this as a gateway in our router configuration. And if you see here in the DNS, we configure 8.8.8 .8 .8 as a DNS. So this one is working perfectly. And now let's do for this PC also. Go to desktop, click IP config, click the DHCP. And wait and check you are getting here also correct IP. Now you can make the communication also. Example, I will write here ping. 192.168.1.2 I am pinging to this computer because I hope this computer got the IP 192.168.1.2 okay so I am pinging if you see here reply is coming so everything is working perfectly one packet is dropped because of ARP ARP is nothing but address resolution protocol address resolution protocol is a protocol which is going to get the ARP address over the IP address. Okay, so it is working perfectly. So what we can say our DSCP configuration successfully done. And if you need this configuration, I can show you. I can write here show run. Then we can put section and DHCP and press. You can see this is a DSCP configuration. If you see this is the exclude and this is a one pool and this is another pool. So this is the configuration whatever we done let me keep here okay 
and try to follow our uh, telegram channel try to i will give the link in our description video description try to join our telegram channel we are going to share all the labs with the configuration whatever we done okay so try to join that telegram channel you will get this configuration and the lab topology and also other lab topology also okay thank you